morning children. Hello everyone. So yesterday we looked at the poem called My Hat by Tony Mitten and your job was to have a go at seeing if you could learn the poem and tell the poem to somebody in your house. So we're going to carry on with our poetry work today. But before we begin we're just going to start with our spellings. What are our spellings today Miss Oliver? Today Mrs David our spellings are red words. Red words are words we can't sound out, so we just have to learn to spell these words. So the first one we're going to spell today is who. Who. And when I write who, you'll notice that this sound here just makes a sound together. So the W and the H in who just makes a sound. And then our oo is just a o today. So who? Now I'll leave a finger space and write it again. So a w h for our sound, and then an o. Who? And again, who? Hopefully you've noticed that my h are ascending letters, so they're nice and tall. Can you check yours are tall? Who? And then on your next line, I'm going to write love. Love. If I was going to sound it out, it would be l a m, but it's not an a uh sound. It's an o, l o v e, love. I love Mrs. David's hat today. Love, love. And our l is a nice tall ascending letter. Practice those, please. So, today what we're going to learn, children, is to identify different hats and who they belong to. So what I would like you to do, you should have done this yesterday, but if you've got rid of them all, I'd like you to go and gather all of the hats that you can find in your house, please, children, and have them all around you. And I want you to have a think about, look at each one and think about who does it belong to, what does it look like, when do they wear it? I'm going to do a little example now. I'm going to do a model of the hat that Miss Oliver is wearing. And then this is the task that I would like you to do afterwards. Can you just stand aside? I need to stand this side, Miss Oliver, because I'm left-handed. So, as you can see, Miss Oliver has got on one of my summer party hats. Let me just have a look at it. So, before I'm just going to have a go at describing it before I start to draw it. So... This is one of my party hats. Um, I can see it's got some beautiful pastel coloured roses at the front. It's got some lovely burgundy feathers at the back. I think I would wear this hat in the summer. And if you were going to describe my hat, you might say that this is a black hat. It's got a rose on the front. It belongs to Mrs. David. And I would wear this hat in the summer at a wedding. If you were to describe this hat, you might say this is a grey woolly hat, it's fur lined, it's got a bob pink bobble on the top and I, Mrs David would wear this hat in the winter time when she's going on a cold walk. Okay, this, the, this is what I want you to do with your hats now that you can find around you. I'd like you to describe them to your grown up please. And then after you've described them really well, I would like you to, I want you to put that back on, I'm going to draw it. Is that okay? That's fine. Is that right? So yeah. then, so so once you've described it really well, oh, are you giving it to me to describe? I was just giving it to you to have a look at drawing it. Oh, I'm, well, um. I'm not particularly good at drawing <laughs> children. You know that, but I will try my best. I know I've got to do one, two, three, four, five, six roses on it. I'm just going to mm, some lovely colours on the back. Beautiful. Can I just pop it? Would you like me to model the yes, hat? Yes, yes, yes. I will model yes. the So, I wasn't very good at drawing it last time. We had a little practice run already, children. And I'm sure I'm not going to be very good at drawing it this time. Can you turn to the side a little bit for me? <laughs> it's not the right colours either. When you're drawing your hats at home, children, you can have a go at doing the right colours on them. One, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to put one here, 
seven pastel coloured roses. There's even some little necklaces going over the top here. And actually there are some stripes coming down on it. So that's a very rough drawing of my hat children. Now I'm going to have a little think about some sentences that I'm going to write about it. So I'm going to start with this is Mrs. David's celebration hat. It's a hat I would wear to a party. Hmm, this. I need a capital letter to start. Every sentence starts with a capital letter. This is now capital letters for somebody's name because they are important. This is Mrs. David's apostrophe S. This is Mrs. David's celebration hat. Because the hat belongs to me, I need to use an apostrophe S. This is Mrs. David's celebration hat. So, Mrs. David, can I just underline your On name? Top. Yep. Because your hat might not belong to Mrs. David. So, if your hat doesn't belong to Mrs. David, you need to change this part here, these two words, who does your hat belong to? Does it belong to a family member, your sister, your brother, your mum, your dad, or does it belong to you? So that is your first sentence you will write about your hat children. Your second sentence is going to describe the hat. So let me have a look. Hmm, I can see some pastel coloured roses on the front. Pastel colours are light colours. And I can see some beautiful burgundy feathers at the back. So my next sentence is going to be... Capital letter to start. We've had a full stop. It has... Pastel coloured... Roses on the front. I'm going to use a conjunction now rather than a full stop. It has pastel coloured roses on the front and the conjunction and a beautiful notice anything I'm using in my writing children to help me to describe it it has beautiful burgundy which is a type of color burgundy feathers at the back Full stop. Let me just check back what I've written. This is Mrs. David's celebration hat. It has pastel coloured roses on the front and beautiful burgundy feathers at the back. Can I underline beautiful burgundy and pastel? These three words have a name. I wonder if you at home can tell your adult what we call these describing words. Hopefully you've remembered it's an adjective. They are adjectives. Now my next, my final sentence is going to be about when I wear this hat that Miss Oliver has on. So I need another capital letter at the start of a new sentence. I'm going to write my name again. Mrs. David. Where's this hat in the summer? Full we'll stop. Mrs. David, where's this hat in the summer? So, children, I have drawn a picture of my favourite hat and I have written some sentences to describe who it belongs to, what it looks like, and when I would wear it. That is, you, sorry, that is your job today, children, please. We would like you to write, draw a picture of your hat and write three sentences to describe it. And please, can you 
send some pictures in of your work. Thank you. Bye-bye.